Hi everyone, welcome to Ready to Read Fridays with Miss Marie. I hope that you are all ready to listen to some more books about our next season of autumn. Show me that you're ready. Let's wiggle your fingers, put your fingertips together, and let's sing our welcome song on the count of three. One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right, so let's begin with our first book. It is called Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn, and it is written by Kennard Pack. It is also illustrated by him, and also the publisher is Henry Holt and Company. I love the colors and the illustrations that are used. They're very lifelike and they almost pop off the page, the animals and the butterfly and the bird. And I love the colors. It goes from those nice summer greens to the autumn reds and oranges and the, and the yellows. Here we go. Every time I say the word hello, you can always wave too if you would like, okay? Hello, late summer morning. Hello, trees. Hello, now that the cool winds have come, we love how our branches sway in the sun. Can you sway in the sun? Back and forth. Hello, playful foxes and singing blue jays. Hello, we are busy looking for food. Some of us are heading south to our winter homes. Hello, walking stick and butterflies. Can you find that walking stick insect? There it is. It looks just like this stick. Hello, we're surprised you saw us. We try our best to blend in and we'll do the same in warmer places. Hello, beavers. Hello, chipmunks. Hello, we have no time to play because we're making cozy nests and dens. It will be cold soon and we want to get ready. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to say hello to next. Hello, flowers. Hello, we are leaning into the sun, enjoying, enjoying the last summer rays. Some of us, like asters and phlox, are late bloomers. We make the end of the season even more colorful. Hello, thunder. Oh, hello, you can hear my low rumble from far away. My clouds loom over the open fields and quiet hills. Hello, breezy wind. Oh, I see that, look at all the leaves starting to come off the trees. Hello, I like to whoosh, drizzle, and leaves through the misty streets. Hello, 
Hello, chill in the air. Hello, it's time to bring out your thick sweaters and scarves. Hello, puddle. Hello, now that the wind has come, I often get covered with fallen leaves. Hello, leaves. Hello, we are changing our colors. Some of us turn red or brown, while others turn gold or yellow. The dogwood leaves turn purple. Hello, big sun. Hello, I'm setting earlier and earlier now that summer is coming to an end, but I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye, summer. Look at the nighttime and the night sky. Hello, Autumn. Look at all those colors and those trees. Very pretty. The ends. All right, I hope you enjoyed that book. Now, I have a saying called Johnny Appleseed. Okay, we're going to say, oh, the earth is good to me. And so I thank the earth for giving me the things I need. The sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The earth is good to me. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? Oh, the earth is good to me. And so I thank the earth for giving me the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. The earth is good to me. Very good. Nice job. Excellent. Thank you for joining me. With that, our next book is one from last week. It's called, It's Fall. Hmm, do we remember this book and this story? Well, this is written by Linda Glazer and the illustrations are done by Susan Swan. The publisher is Millbrook Press Library. Okay, here we go. I love the colors. Take a look at some of the animals that you might see or creatures. Oh, I see geese. It's fall. I skip and swoosh through autumn leaves. They crunch and crackle under my feet and whoosh and whirl all around me. Red, orange, yellow and gold and brown. A wind swoops up, more leaves fall down. It's fall. I help rake a big, big pile of leaves. Whee! I jump in and sink deep, deep, deep. I hide inside. It smells sharp and sweet. Leaves prickle and tickle all over me. I wait and wait. Then, pop, it's me. We hear the wild honking of migrating geese as they fly away up overhead in V's. 
A hawk soars up in a sweeping glide, and there go some monarch butterflies. They're all heading south where it's warm because colder days are coming soon. It's fall. Animals are hiding all around me. They're getting ready to hibernate in deep, deep sleep. Ladybugs hide in pine cones and under bark and leaves. Earthworms tunnel way down where the earth doesn't freeze. Frogs burrow in lake bottoms under the mud. A raccoon finds a safe spot in a hollow log. A chipmunk stores piles of seeds underground. Soon they'll all sleep for a long, long time. Gray squirrels scamper around finding acorns and nuts. They'll be awake all winter, so they have to fatten up. It's fall. The air is turning crisp and cold. It's time to wear our warmer clothes. We put on jackets and pants and long sleeves to keep us warm when it turns breezy. The sun goes down so early now. We wait and watch the sky grow dark. We see the great big harvest moon rise up and up and up. See that big moon? And oh, look at that, it's an owl. Can you sound like an owl? Woo, woo. Oh, excellent, nice job. Well, wherever we go, we find flowers and weeds drying out and scattering seeds. We float silky parachutes of dry milkweed. Birds land on our dry sunflowers and eat the seeds. Tall dry cattails whisper and rattle. Crisp leaves swish and rustle and chatter. It's fall. We collect acorns and pine cones and pretty leaves. I choose a great big pumpkin. We carve a face and roast the seeds. One day in our garden, we dig some holes. We plant crocuses and tulips and daffodil bulbs. I try to picture how they'll look a long time from now when they finally come up. Those are the daffodils and the tulips and the crocus. Then one day, I notice that the trees are all bare. Leaves have fallen everywhere. There's an icy chill woo, in the air. Soon, very soon, winter will be here. But right now, it's still fall. I gather handfuls of autumn leaves. I toss them up. They swirl down on me. It's fall, it's fall. I love it all, it's fall. The ends. Well, this book reminds me of the autumn leaves are falling down. Hmm. Do you remember that from last week? It's going to be on a paper that looks just like this. Ready? Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down. It is fall. Take the rake and rake them up, rake them up, rake them up. Take the rake and rake them up. It is fall. Make a pile and jump right in, jump right in, 
jump right in. Make a pile and jump right in. It is fall. Yay! Very nice. We're going to sing one more song after this last story. Are you ready? If you're ready, wiggle your fingers. Touch your head. Touch your shoulders. Fold your fingers up and put them in your lap. Oh, excellent. My last book is this one. This is a new one. This book is called I Love Fall. The author is Allison Inches and it is illustrated by Hiro Nakata. Yes, Nakata. Okay, and it is published by Little Simon. Oh, I see all different colors around this girl here who is wearing a scarf. And I see long sleeves and leaves. And I see, ooh, maybe a pumpkin or some gourds in her basket. Let's see what happens. I love fall. In the fall, the air is chilly, but my scarf feels warm and woolly. Scritch, scratch, rub my woolly scarf. There are lots of pumpkins, orange and plump. My puppy helps me pick one up. Plunk. Plunk, pat the smooth pumpkin I put in my basket. When you go pick your pumpkins, let you can have pat your pumpkin too. Grandma bakes pumpkins and apple treats. She gives me yummy pies mm, that are warm and sweet. Crinkle, crinkle. Feel the shiny pie tin that I put in my basket. Mm, if you have a cupcake liner or hmm, maybe you bought some muffins from the store, they might have some tins like that. <gasps> Look at this. I jump in the leaves with all of my friends. The leaves are my favorite colors. Brown, yellow, and red. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Wow. Touch the dry leaves when they fall onto your yard. See how they feel. Now there's one thing left to do. We give our full basket to you. Hooray, hooray. If you have a basket in your house, go over to it and touch it. See how that feels. Is it bumpy? Is it a little rough, soft? Hmm. That is the story of I Love Fall. All right, I have one more song to to sing with you. I just have to get a little bit ready. So I have to move my camera. It's called Autumn Leaves. And we need you all to stand on up. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. Autumn leaves are spinning, spinning, spinning. Autumn leaves are floating, floating, floating. Autumn leaves are dancing, dancing, dancing. Autumn leaves are blowing, blowing, blowing. Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. Autumn leaves are sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. 
Well, I hope that all of you enjoyed or ready to read um, story time today. And I hope that you come back next Friday for the next story. We'll see you then. Bye.